we have already seen how to load data from tables as well as user stages using Snowpark. This hands-on guide will show how to load CSV file staged in your table stage location. As you know, each table also comes with a table stage also called unnamed stages in Snowflake context. Unlike user stage, this stage is accessible to all user who belongs to the same role. And if you can create a table in Snowflake instance, you can also place a file in table stage. So we will see how to create a data frame objects from files that are available in your table location, which is represented as a percentage character followed by the table name. We will also review how the Snowpark data frame operations translated into query history using Snowsite web UI. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this Snowpark hands-on playlist. Let's jump into our VS code where I am using Python 3.8.16, Snowpark Python library 1.3.0 and SnowSQL CLI to upload files to stage location using put command. Here. I am in my VS code and I have defined four step process. The first step will import the Snowpark libraries, define the connection parameter, create session object and check if Snowflake connections is established or not. Step two, we will review our customer table. We will upload a customer 01 CSV file using a put command, list the table stage and also query the customer data using dollar notation. Step three, we will define a schema using a struct object, create data frame via session and read API basic transformation on customer data frame, call an action, collect or show, and then understand how explain function works. Finally, we will review the query history. So line number 26 to 28, I am just importing. It's a standard import function. This is my connection parameters. I am creating a session object via connection parameters. Let's go back to our snow site and check how our customer table looks like. This is my demo database and snowpark schema. And let's quickly review how our customer table looks like by taking first 10 data set. It has a salutation, first name, last name, date of birth, birth country, and email address. Now let's check if customer table stage has any files or not. You can see I am using the percentage followed by the table name. I do not have any data set. Now let me go back to my SnowSQL CLI and put this file. So my customer 01.csv file has been uploaded successfully and since I have specified uncompressed equals to false, the csv file is remain csv file. If you do not understand how the put and get command works and if you are not very sure how to load the data using put command, I would request you to watch my data loading playlist masterclass. Now let's rerun and see what does it bring. So customer 01.csv file exists into the table stage location. Now I can query this table stage using dollar notation and let's run and see the sample data. So this is how the data looks like and different country data set is available here. And if I would like to count the data, I can run a select count on the top of this select statement. So it has total 253k records. Good. Let's go back to our snowpark program. Now the next step, we are defining a customer schema which has following fields, salutation, first name, last name, date of birth, birth country and email. And now using session and read API and this schema object is being passed. I am giving an option because since it is a CSV file, I am passing field delimiter as a comma and skip header equals to one, very similar to our PySpark and finally invoking .csv and passing the name of my customer CSV file. Now, once I get my customer data frame, I am applying an order by which is very similar to select star from a customer order by salutation. So this is how the syntax looks like. And then I am filtering, fetching all the records where my birth country is United Kingdom. And this will try to translate the query in this form. Once it is done, I am actually calling this function called collect which is an action and it will trigger this entire query. I am also running filter customer df dot show where I'm trying to print only first five rows. So let me comment this first and, and let's run this program. Data frame. Now you see through the data frame, I managed to read my table stage and it is printed on my local machine. Now let's run filter customer df dot explain and let's see what happens. And this time I will change to two records. If you see the result, I managed to print only two rows 
and this is how my data frame execution plan looks like first it has created a temporary file format and then second it has executed a single select statement and in this select statement it used where clause as well as order by clause which is primarily the translation of these two order by clause and the filter clause so this is how snowpark translate all your data frame operations into single sql query let's go to snow site and check it so when i come to this screen i can see it has created a temporary file format since i am using csv then it has executed a single select statement which has your where clause and order by clause embedded and then finally it drops a file format and cancels all the query before closing the connection if you don't close the connection probably this will not be executed what if your file does not exist and you try to access or misspelled your file name so let's give a incorrect file name and see what happens so I am changing this to 2 since 2 doesn't exist and let's see what happens to this execution. Even though it has executed query, since there is no file, there is no data and since there is no data, the data frame did not show any result. Okay. However, it has not ended into an exception. So this is how you can read data set from your table stage location and perform any kind of operation using your Snowpark data frame API. Refer the description section to download the source code used in this tutorial as well as cheat sheet. If you have any specific questions, queries or doubt, please drop me a note in the description section or in my Instagram account. Thank you. Happy learning and keep growing.